eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and lift off. Go people, go people. Be close to the down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 carrying the Turksat 6A satellite. Now, after clearing the tower, we'll tilt or gimbal the engines on the booster to initiate a roll maneuver, which you may notice in the stage one camera view. This enables the vehicle's antennas to stay in the Power best position nominal. in the best position for communicating with the ground. And in just a few seconds, we'll be throttling down the engines in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. We should hear that call out in about 15 seconds from now. Vehicle is supersonic. Coming up shortly, we'll have three events coming up in quick succession, and we should hear all of these called out by Michigan. Stage separation confirmed. And the back ignition. And good call outs there for those three events, which again were main engine cutoff or MECO, followed by stage separation. Stage one engine burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. And there's confirmation of entry burn startup on the Falcon 9 first stage. This burn will last about 25 seconds and will slow the vehicle down in preparation for the landing burn coming up shortly. Stage 1 entry burn shutdown. And there's confirmation of stage 1 entry burn shutdown. Now coming up in just over a minute from now will be second engine cutoff, or Seco-1, on the second stage, along with the landing burn of the Falcon 9 first stage. The landing burn is the final burn of the Falcon 9 booster, and it's used to reduce the remaining speed of the vehicle in order to allow for a soft touchdown on the landing pad or drone ship. And as a reminder, we're attempting to land this booster on our drone ship Just Read the Instructions, which is currently stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. Stage one landing confirmed. And there's that call out for our stage one landing. As a reminder, this was the 15th launch and landing for this first stage, and this landing marks SpaceX's 328th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including both first stage landings for both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. And with confirmation of nominal orbital insertion. <laughs> Payload deploy confirmed. And there you heard and saw on your screen successful deployment of the Turksat 6A payload. And with that confirmation, we'll be bringing today's webcast to a close. Today's mission marks SpaceX's 364th overall mission to date and the 69th mission of this year. We want to thank the Republic of